Maganda, 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 umaga, tanghali, hapong, gabi sa inyo, mga daddy ko, mommy ko, tropa ko, and welcome sa aking channel, ang daddy ko, world chat. So, uh, first day of the uh, English Only Please Challenge, which I have uh, introduced to you yesterday, you know, and uh, as you can see the Mm, the intro is in Filipino, Filipino language because it is a, it is my intro, the Daddy Crow World intro. So we don't have to change the intros or anything, you know. And but for the rest of the videos, uh, I will be, uh, I will be speaking in English because it is. English only please challenge and uh, you know bear with me if if I speak uh, very very slow because you know my mind is slow when I'm in English mode <laughs> but it is a challenge for myself and for now I am undergoing Kim Domingo challenge you know I don't know if it's something but when I check uh i i decrease my weight for about three kilos not bad for one month uh improvement and uh but now for today uh, i will be discussing or i will be uh, chit chatting with you guys you know the life goes on even though i'm speaking in english uh, I want to have a good chat with you since my son is not here, Bibi Motmut is not here and I'm all home alone again and again. You know, but for today I will be discussing about the different kinds of co-workers. Because you know, uh, I am also working and uh, I do this uh, vlog uh, on my uh, free time. So I have many free time, but uh, I experience uh, different uh, bad trips, <laughs> different bad trips on the on my co-workers. So I am here to dis to to discuss with you the different kinds that I have experienced, different kinds of uh, co-workers that I have to be with. What? <laughs> okay. So let's begin. And there, the first one that uh, that is on my list of different kinds of uh, co-workers is uh, what we, what you call the coconut. Coconut. You know when when you broke uh, this kind of <laughs> this kind of uh, co-workers, uh, you know uh, their minds are uh, empty, and when you sell their brain, you can sell it at a high price. You know because you know I, I uh, compare it to coconut because you know when you crack open the coconut what you what you will see first is the soup <laughs> you know the soup uh, which means th their their minds or their heads are very empty and then they they don't know uh, what they are talking about and uh, technically they, they are called uh, fool <laughs> they only use their uh, body types what? because uh, you know uh, this kind of uh, co-workers is uh, they're beautiful they're very sexy they're uh, very yummy you know then they, they use their outermost privilege uh, body what <laughs> body figures to to get the job and then uh, uh, do con do it continuously with with the boss so that they they can remain in the in the company but you know when when you there when you crack the coconut the first thing you see is the the soup 
na as you can see so uh, but you know when you should you should scrape the inside of the coconut to get the uh, nutrition which, which means these co-workers uh, even if even if you squeeze you squeeze harder their brains they, there's there is no uh, nutrition <laughs> in their brain I'm starting to get me you know the, even though you you teach them hard you teach them uh, every day you teach them whatever they have to learn and uh, they can they cannot pick up you know their, what what they are saying are uh, all useless uh, meaningless and all, all they have to do is to um, show their legs show their very good body to the to the boss so that they get promotion but uh, accept it that uh, many of these uh, co-workers exist I know you can relate to what I am saying because you know uh, when when people uh, when people that is not that uh, handsome or beautiful all they have is their brains right their talents or their expertise but these these co-workers uh, they don't work hard for the promotion they work hard on the top of the bosses <laughs> and uh, they don't care whatever they, whatever others say uh, they just want a big salary and big uh, promotions so for the tip to you guys with this uh, if you have uh, this kind of co-workers it's just, it's just uh, let them be you know let them be if, if they want to be, to go up like that uh, as, uh, very soon they will get their karma you know uh, you just work hard uh, do it for yourself for your family uh, just don't let the company uh, uh, do something with your salary you know if, if you work hard and they don't pay you that's the time that you should uh, uh, what do you call it? complain or even if you work hard and then don't they don't appreciate it that's the time you complain but uh, if you always complain on the doings of the others you will not also grow okay okay and there the next one that uh, the list of kinds of co-workers is uh, what you call a uh, walking CCTV what CCTV you know uh, what is CCTV uh, they're, they're the ones that are capturing everything inside the company or establishment you know and then uh, they record it they tell you everything that you have to learn and that you want to learn and even if you don't want to learn you will see it on CCTV right so this kind of uh, co-workers they are the ones that uh, what you call in Filipino is zip zip you know that's what Filipino called it and uh, you know this kind of uh, co-workers always sees on what you do what you what what you're moving what <laughs> what you are uh, going to do on the company and then uh, they uh, they always seek attention to the boss so that they uh, they will get promoted or they will get uh, uh, what you call that uh, appraisal you know they this this kind of uh, co-workers always uh, uh, see for your flaws or 
flaws, your uh, mistakes, and then report it to the uh, to the boss so that uh, he or she can uh, what you, what what you call that? He he or she will be go higher than you. You know, I I have experienced this kind of uh, co-workers also that uh, they choose they chose to uh, to be a boss pet than than to communicate with with his co-workers because this kind of this kind of uh, freaking uh, co-workers just want to just want to go higher they they don't uh, they don't think of what others is saying as for as long as they increase their salary they get promotion they get what they want so even though they they don't have friends on the company as for as long as uh, he is he is connecting or connected to the boss uh, they don't care so all all they want is the material things and they don't uh, they don't care about the social uh, interaction with their uh, with the, the with their co-workers you know so my tip for you guys if you have uh, this kind of co-workers just ignore them ignore them and do what is right and uh, but if uh, if this kind of co-workers uh, do uh, say things about you that is not real that's the time you you should justify yourself pre protect yourself because um, they don't have the right to to destroy you and my nose is bleeding already and uh, always think of your uh, families okay when when you protect yourself you should uh, you should do it right you should do it on the proper way you should do it uh, legally you know that uh, when you when you fight with this with these people you know uh, think of whatever will uh, happen okay if if, if you will confront him or her that will cause you to lose your job then don't do it just uh, just say bad words on your mind when when they are not around or uh, um, give them a uh, no sign the dirt signs uh, if they are uh, behind your back you know because um, you will be the one to suffer if you fight with them on the wrong way okay okay and there the next one on the list of our kinds of uh, co-workers is what we call uh, control V control I con no 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 control C control V there I know that uh, many of you guys who is working can relate with this you know especially when you're working at corporate corporate uh, company you know this this kind of uh, co-workers they control C control me you know uh, they are kind of uh, people or co-workers which is uh, they will go to you ask you anything every actually uh, they are asking for everything you know especially when your uh, line of work is uh, the same or your line of work is connected with each other what uh, what this uh, co-workers do is just uh, they will ask you to explain everything and then now after a while they will ask you to uh, have a copy of your report you know when you know what I mean or uh, for uh, what 
what what you call that uh, they will uh, spy on your computer and then uh, copy whatever it is on your report uh, especially when your computer is only one you know when uh, this this uh, it is sometimes uh, occur when when you are on a shifting uh, uh, schedules you know they or uh, sometimes when you are main too many and then you, you are preparing works you know so that's why the the employees with a laptop is an advantage because you are only the one to open it except that you authorize uh, your co-employee to open your laptop but I think that is uh, on the minimal case only so this uh, this kind of co-workers uh, always uh, copy whatever your report is or whatever you what you have said you know and then they they are always the one to report to the boss uh, on, the er on early you know because the early bird catches early worm so what they will do is they will get your report or they will listen to you if it is verbal and then they will get all the information that they are needing and then uh, they will they will just copy it they will just uh, reconstruct they will just uh, re re revert on it but sometimes uh, there are there are this kind of uh, co-workers which they don't do anything they don't change uh, the font, they don't change uh, the paragraph, they only change for for the name. <laughs> they will arrange a name and then uh, they will put theirs and then they will report it to the boss. I know uh, many of you guys experience this, so comment down below if I hit, hit the spot hit the right spot and uh, uh, let's shout out this kind of uh, co-workers because you know many of, of you guys is like this and my tip for you is that uh, you should uh, you should learn by yourself and don't uh, don't mm, be afraid to ask questions to your co-workers because they will be the one that will guide you to the right path Okay, don't uh, don't copy anything that is done by others because you have no pride if you do that. And if you do that, you are only um, what you call that tricking yourself. You false believing yourself that you are good. Okay? You no, know, so no one wants to be praised if others are uh, if others fall <laughs> you know you know what I mean right so please uh, to this kind of uh, co-workers stop doing that because it's not good you know, so just continue be yourself and work hard as yourself okay And there, the next one on the list of our uh, kind of co-workers is uh, what I call the caveman. Yeah. Caveman. This is the kind of uh, co-workers which uh, I, I don't, what, what you call it, they are introverts. Introverts, right? Uh, there. They don't want to be with uh, other people. I don't know why maybe because they are afraid to be judged maybe because they are afraid to be laughed at or maybe because they don't want to uh, share their knowledge i don't know why you know but uh, this kind of co-workers really don't want to be with others you know, they 
uh, I think they ano, they they want to they talk to others but on minimal uh, occasions only uh, sometimes this kind of uh, co-workers only talk or when you ask questions and they specifically answer your questions you know uh, for example when when you talk about the data that you need they only answer about data they don't explain further or they don't explain uh, anymore on what you have to, to learn and then you will just uh, you will just learn that there is a problem when when time comes or when probably problem uh, already occurred and that this caveman don't even hesitate to say ethnic you know because uh, yeah, I don't know maybe they they know that they should uh, uh, they should have to tell this to the, their co-workers but they chose not to because uh, you know uh, maybe they think that uh, uh, maybe they feel that if they do if they tell the details uh, their co-workers will feel that they are just uh, uh, just being a good or smart uh, co but you, you know that uh, this this kind of people thinks that uh, people will think about them as as if they are on higher level on them you know you, you know what i mean um these people don't want to be praised don't want to be don't want to be judged don't want to be you know the social uh, social interaction is very low you know i i know that uh, i think i think that uh, just a few of of these people exist but they they do they always have someone that is not uh, coordinating with others you know but sometimes uh, uh, they just they just uh, do whatever they want as long as they are doing their jobs and as long as uh, there is no one is there is no one that is harmed on what they are doing they are just fine to be alone they eat alone they uh, walk alone alone work alone you know uh, you know people uh, being like this is very sad very uh, what you call that mm, very lonely what very, you know uh, you should be socializing uh, to your co-workers even once in a while because you are giving eight hours eight hours of your day to the company and then you do it all all alone and uh, you don't want to to get any um, what you call it, any tips or guidance to your co-workers that's very it's very lonely you know and uh, no one is an island so my tip to you guys is that if you if you are working do do the work with a uh, happy ambience and then you have a good uh, interaction with your coworker because they are always be the one that you will be with all throughout. Okay. And there, the next one on the list of a uh, kind of co-workers is what I call the uh, IAS. IAS or IAS? There, you know uh, this song, Sol. So, I don't wanna S-O-L-O -O. I don't wanna S-O-L-O -O. <laughs> There, uh, you know, this kind of co-workers is the, the reverse of caveman 
So this one, uh, Iyas, is the ones that uh, don't want to be alone. You know, if ever they have to eat, if ever they want to go somewhere else, or if they ha they have a plan, they don't want to be alone. You know, but this kind of co-workers always uh, depend on uh, on his co-workers uh, because we don't want to be alone. They don't want to be blamed on anything that uh, they are doing. You know, they always seek for someone else to be blamed with if ever a problem arise. You know, they they always say that I can do it alone. I I can never do it alone and I will never do it without somebody else on my side. You know, this, this kind of uh, freaking co-workers are very, uh, very, what you call that? Very hard ache. <laughs> very hard. Oh my god. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes, uh, no. Uh, all the time. These co-workers always uh, say that uh, you can do it. You can do it. I support you. I will be here. But uh, in reality, they don't do anything. You are always the one who do the job. You know. And even though the boss uh, tell that uh, uh, he or she should do it, they always seek for help. I don't know if they lose whatever they have uh, learned on school or whatever they have learned for the previous months, weeks, days. So that some sometimes this this kind of co-workers uh, stay to the company for a long, long time, very long time, five years, ten years, with just doing like this. With, by just relying on others, I don't, I don't know how they do that. But they stay on the company for a long time. You know, uh, by just taking the strength of the others, I, I don't, I don't, I, I can't relate because I know to myself that I have, I have learned things on school. I have uh, gained knowledge. Uh, for the first week, for the first month, that I, I don't say that uh, you should rely on your uh, co-workers. Uh, I, 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 I say that uh, you should seek help. You know, you should seek help only to your co-workers and don't force them to help you because they also have uh, work to do. And you are not the only one who needs uh, some who needs money to to feed their family. You know, if ever they have children, to feed their children. You, know, you should you should always think of what uh, what others are capable of, and why do they uh, work hard for it, and the you, you you should not be relying on others you should not be relying everything that's what should i say you should not be relying everything on others because uh, at the end of the day you will be the one to help yourself you know they they can give help but at the end of the day you will be the one to decide on your own you know, especially if you are uh, giving uh, something on your family or you should uh, give whatever your family needs you know, so you should be you should rely on yourself more than your co-workers okay so and there Thanks for watching for today's video. I hope you learned something, even though I my English is very carabao. <laughs> my English is very carabao, so I think many of you guys relate to this and comment down below if you if you really relate to the 
topic for today and uh, give give me some comments or suggestion recommendation violent reaction to what I have said but this is only based on my experience or based on the um, uh, kind of co-workers that I have I have seen even though they are not my co-workers I have seen many people working okay so see you when I see you guys so don't forget to like share comment uh, and sub subscribe to my channel and I am uh, I will be I am targeting for my first 500 subscribers and I will be giving uh, 3D origami face by Transna you know please subscribe to her channel I will uh, do her job or her designs to be a reward for my challenges then this is only the first one English only please uh, no this is all, uh, actually my second challenge to myself but uh, I will be challenging more of myself so uh, please uh, stand by for more stay connected for more uh, uh, daddy cool challenge you know because I want to spread the daddy cool fever in the Philippines and to the world and uh, this is only the start so um, please uh, stay connected and uh, I hope that you will be watching my next vlog uh, I hope that on my next vlogs uh, I'll be remote back to be here so we will be complete again so thanks for watching uh, for today's video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay bye